Welcome into Terrier Vision. I'm Mark Hauser on this Thursday night here at the Benjamin Johnson Arena. The Watford Terriers open up a key three game homestand beginning this evening with the Chattanooga Mox. Chattanooga comes into the ball game with a conference record of seven and oh, while the Terriers sit at five and one. Let's go to the highlights. Nine on the shot clock for Cage in the right corner. Right side of the lane with Todd. Turns, hook shot no good as he was posting up against Rundles. Rebound by Crow. He'll tip it away to Rundles. And here come the Terriers up 13. Rundles, top of the key. Good look at a three. Drains it. Cam's got nine. All from outside the arc. And the Terrier lead is 18 to 2. The Terriers have it leading by 19 points. 9.20 to play in the first half at the Benjo. Diggs high on the right side, slides left off a curl screen, gives it away left wing to Rundles. Rundles drives with the right hand to the free throw line, penetrates a little more, runner off the window, good. Cam Rundles with an eight-foot runner off the glass, and it's 28-7. to Terriers, Keegan Bell between his legs with the dribble, out front against Losing, pull up three over Losing, short. Cam Rundles rips the rebound with the right paw. He'll push three on two. No look feed to Dolman, cutting down the lane, and he scores with the right hand, falling down. Brad Losing out front, 40 seconds to play in the half, 22 on the shot clock, Rundle's right wing, up top with a dribble, now gives it away to Diggs on the left wing, Diggs slides right, 17 footer off the dribble is good, Jamar in double figures now with 10. Losing will trigger it in in the backcourt to Diggs. Diggs midcourt with three. Diggs slides left with two, puts up a three at the buzzer. Got it! The lead is 17 at the break as Jamar Diggs gets a three pointer to bounce over the front of the rim and go down. And the Terriers will take a 17 point lead into the halftime break. Or was it a two? Terriers in white with the black letters and numbers. The old gold trim going left to right in the second half. They start with the basketball mocks in dark blue. White letters and numbers with the gold trim. They're playing man-to-man -man defense. Right corner Cameron Rundle slides left with his dribble. Gets it loaded. Dolman who finishes off the window from the right baseline with a little dribble drive. On the right wing for the Terriers. Diggs up top. Giltner left elbow with a pass to Martin. Wrap around bounce feed loaded. Johnson who finishes off the glass with a right-handed shot. Here's Tim Johnson at the top of the key for Wofford. One dribble. High right side now to Dahlman who backs away with a dribble against Jefferson. That is bizarre. Diggs driving all the way down the lane. Switches hands, scores, and he's fouled. Whoa! Jamar Diggs with a pretty move down the paint. Wofford up by 25. Diggs drives into the lane. Jump pass left corner. Rundles. Three-pointer. Good. Score. He's fouled. For Cameron Rundles. My goodness, what an answer. Swafford with their best margin of the evening. I get it. The Terriers aren't quitting. I mean, this is, they're playing this thing like it's 0 0, and you know, Chattanooga's playing like they're down 31. On the right wing, Jamar Diggs, guarded by Burroughs, bounces inside now to Dolman, fakes left, spins right, shot off the window, good. Dolman's got 20. And it's 68-35. High right side, here's Kroll. That was so long ago, Richard Johnson was coaching the team. Between the circles, here's Losing. Right wing, Rundles. Catch and shoot, three, down it goes. Oh, my. Rundles has five trays. High left side, Wagner, top of the key, Giltner. Right wing, Losing. Losing, one dribble to the left. Now wants to drive the lane. Right corner, Kroll. Long two-pointer, good. A line drive. Two-pointer for Cole from about 19 feet. Taylor Wagner will hold on to the ball, and the Wofford Terriers get a standing ovation. They give Chattanooga their first loss of the year, and it's an absolute thumping. Let's bring in Jamar Diggs uh, yeah. tonight. Jamar finishes up the evening with 24 to lead the Terriers to this win. Let me give him the Minnesota boy numbers. Yeah, okay, do All right. that. All right, here's your, here's your crew. You, D, e, Rundles, and uh, Dahlman combined tonight, 69 points on 77% field goal percentage, 69% from behind the arc, 67% at the line, throw in 15 rebounds and 11 assists. Is that good? Thanks for that look. 
we're not that good. <laughs> <laughs> we played pretty well tonight against a good team, but yeah, I mean, they come in seven and zero, oh, and you're out to a fifteen to nothing lead. What 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 were you thinking at that point? I think I mean, we got we were kind of fired up. We uh, we saw some things in the paper that they said, you know, they felt they were the best team in the conference, you know, because they're undefeated. And the record did show it, but we felt like you know coming in here, we are the defending champions. So we just wanted to prove it to them and take care of business. Your final eighty eight to fifty six. We're joined by Wofford head coach Mike Young and, and coach. Coach, Chattanooga came into this thing unbeaten in league play, and, and you just kind of go out and do every. It, it looked like everything you asked the guys to do, at least we discussed in the pregame show, the guys went out and executed for you. Uh, I, I'm not uh, doggone it, Mark. You're wrong. We did oh. some things. We did some things we talked about that they didn't do, and uh, they're going to hear about it tomorrow in practice. Really? Um, you know, uh, master the obvious that I am. Um, great effort, uh, you know, defensively, uh, that was superb. And um, uh, what Coach Shulman and, uh, and Chad knew what, what they do offensively is not is hard to guard. Um, and they really, really ripped a, a good Charleston team to shreds um, on the offensive end, you know, back earlier in the week. Uh, we spent a great deal of time on it, uh, but I just don't think our team could have executed any more crisply on the defensive end, and, uh, and our rebounding was, uh, was awfully good as well. Those guys from Minnesota. Yeah, we're, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah I'm glad we got made a difference tonight. <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll question their uh, willingness to share uh, tomorrow. Uh, it's like um, you know, all those guys took those guys took all the shots. Um, you know, uh, they they were great. Uh, we shared well, uh, but um, you know, again, defensively, uh, if we. Um, if we want to be a great team, we've got to we've got to get squared away on that end, and um, you know I think that's three that's three pretty solid efforts uh, on the defensive end. George Southern Davidson in here tonight against a, a very talented and a very good Chad Nova team. Um, I'm proud of our team. I saw Coach Harrison at halftime, and he said to me three separate times, you know how he'll repeat himself every now and then. You've seen that. You've heard that. He said, we got to keep playing. Got to keep playing. And, you know, you're up 16 at the break. They had made a little bit of a spurt there toward the end of the first half. You guys scored the first 10 points of the second half. What did you tell the guys at halftime? Just keep playing. Win the half. You know, uh, I, I, that's, I, I, I referred back to the Syracuse um, um, Pittsburgh game earlier in the week. You know, so, uh, uh, Pittsburgh goes up 18-0, and Syracuse comes right uh, right back and scores 16 straight, something like that. There's a lot of things that can happen, especially against a team with a Watton, a Keegan Bell, and uh, you know, and, uh, and others. Uh, you got to keep playing. You got to keep playing and, and, and take that 20 minutes, one win the game. Uh, but uh, you know, get better. Uh, and I thought I, I thought we got better uh, there in the second half. I thought we handled some things in the second half, maybe even a little bit better than we did in the first half. Um, Good win to get. Good win to get. They're going to, they're going to continue winning a lot of games in uh, in our league. Um, you know, it was one of those nights. I mean, everything we throw in the air goes in the basket. I, I've been on the other side of that. That's frustrating. Uh, it's a head scratcher. Um, they'll bounce back. You know, seven and one uh, with a. You know. A, a, they're, they're really good, and uh, you, you mark it down. We all know this, and so we're going to go up there in a, in a month, and we'll have to fight like a pack of dogs to uh, to have a chance to win. Uh, but uh, but tonight, good night for uh, good night for the home team. All right, Sanford comes in Saturday. We talked to Jamar about it. Different kind of offense. Yeah. And, and Jamar referenced the Air Force game. He said, you know, against Air Force, we had trouble with that Princeton type. We offense. didn't guard it well. Uh, we didn't guard it well last year uh, when we played them uh, down. There. Uh, we have guarded it very well. Um, you know, we've got less than 48 hours to uh, to, to get it uh, where we need it, to tee it up, uh, and come in here uh, Saturday at two and um, uh, you know play again. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I can see it. I can see our guys. Um, they're starting to come into their own, uh, gearing up, and. Um, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll be ready to go come Saturday. All right. Thank you, Coach.